All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of the Kate and Jay podcast. Uh, if you're wondering kind of what I'm wearing, uh, I'm actually wearing gym clothes because I decided to actually take care of my health and start working out again. But anyway, let's just get into this video. Um, no introductions, really. I'm going to be talking about the Dark Phoenix movie that's going to be coming out uh, next week. So this will be coming out uh, the Wednesday before that's supposed to be coming out. And I'm going to be pretty much just talking about, you know, what my predictions are with the movie and different things about that. Um, so, of course, everyone knows, or those of you that have been to the movies recently or followed the Marvel Cinematic Universe, um, the movie Dark Phoenix is going to be coming out, I believe, June something. I, I don't know. I'll put it somewhere here. But anyway, um, I'm not sure what to be expecting from this film because... At least to me, I feel that the X-Men franchise has been at a decline lately. Uh, this is, you know, of course, personal opinion. Of course, if you have a different of opinion, then, you know, feel free to leave something in the comments below. But I just feel like this movie isn't going to do very well. Or it's going to have a lot of issues with it. And when I say that, the main causes of concern is the fact that this movie was actually supposed to be coming out last November in 2018 but due to um, some issues they've had to do reshoots I believe at some point they even um, changed the director or something happened with the director I'm not entirely sure I'm not 100% on this but I know one of the main things that happened was um, they had to actually reshoot the entire third act because according to um, the char the actors that play both Charles Xavier and Magneto, they were saying that the third act of this film was very closely related to another Marvel film. And they never, you know, really confirmed what film it was. But due to a lot of the scheduling that happened, I believe it was Captain Marvel that it was closely related to. The ending of Captain Marvel um, was apparently closely related to the ending of Dark Phoenix. So, of course, whenever that came out, they were like, oh, crap, we have to change the ending now because it's too closely resembled now. So, of course, they went back, reshot everything, and that's why it has a later timeline of June 2019. Now, I don't really know much about the origins of Dark Phoenix. All I know is, you know, what I've seen in movies, what I've heard from friends, whatever... But, I don't know, the reason why I have such issue with this movie is because of the last X-Men movie that came out, which is the X-Men Apocalypse, as well as the Logan movie. Now, to me, those two movies were just terrible. Like, I know my friends will argue with me, especially about the Logan movie, but I had so much issue with that movie. There was a weird plot to it that timing of the entire movie felt really rushed and it was in my opinion just very annoying like I love that they went for the R rating and I'm glad that they did it especially with all the violence whatever but it was really just so they could start cussing more regularly and to me the cussing was just so forced in that movie like if I go look back at it again I'm just like man like you know they are really forcing every cuss word in this movie and then that little girl was just annoying as shit like i would have already dropped her off at the side of the road and beat the shit off her or whatever i don't think i could even say that without getting some type of strike or whatever but anyway so logan was trash to me x-men apocalypse was complete trash to me just because of apocalypse like they made him a weak little bitch and he's supposed to be like the first man the most powerful of all of them and he he just gets defeated so easily, in my opinion. But anyway, moving past that. So, with the Dark Phoenix movie, my prediction with it is the fact that I think the biggest thing that's going to happen, which I'm kind of excited for, it hasn't been confirmed, but I think it might happen, is the integration of the X-Men universe finally integrating with the Avenger universe. Now, for those of you that haven't seen Endgame yet, you know, spoilers ahead, but, you know, at the end of Endgame, at the very end, there's no post credit scene like there's been in the past, because a lot of people were wondering, like, you know, is, since the Fox-Disney merger, 
is something going to happen? Are they going to introduce characters like um, Galactus or Doctor Doom or anything like that? And, you know, there's really nothing leading toward that at the very end of Endgame. It just, you know, it's the movie and then that's it. There's no pre-credit scene, post-credit scene, none of that. So a lot of people were just kind of like left like, oh, you know, what's going to happen next in the MCU? And um, it kind of answers that in the Spider-Man Far From Home movie, which that one I'm looking forward to, to where it talks about how after the snap that brought everyone back it opened up different dimensions that way um the sorry about the cutout guys um i got a package in the mail i had ordered some uh workout shoes but anyway what i was talking about is um it brings in the idea of uh, mysterio and they i believe it was nick fury that said that oh he's not from our earth he's from a different earth so i think what the um, Dark Phoenix movie is going to kind of do is start getting into the whole multiverse aspect of it and slowly start introducing it to where they're going to start merging. I don't know how they're going to do it. I, I just think that that would be something that either in this movie or at least the Spider-Man movie is going to address because in Avengers Age of Ultron, it introduces Scarlet Witch as well as Quicksilver, which to those comic fans out there know... They are the children of Magneto, at least in the comics I've read, at least in the universes I've read. I'm not sure if they went to a different uh, storyline or whatever, but yeah, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver are the children of Magneto, who is a mutant, and they are mutants. So it kind of introduces that in Age of Ultron, like, oh, you know, there's these super-powered people, and there's no reason why they should have superpowers. So to us as the audience, it's like, oh... They're mutants, cool, finally introducing anything. But, you know, we haven't seen any cross between them because, of course, Fox had owned the rights to X-Men. And now, because of the merger, I just feel like it's going to start incorporating those two universes together. And I think that's what the plan is for the direct the directors of Avengers because, of course, these movies have been in different phases. Like, there was phase one, two, and then the final phase with Endgame. And then now they're going to be branching off with these new aged heroes. So that's when, you know, Spider-Man comes into the mix, Scarlet Witch, uh, Falcon as the new Captain America. So all the characters that started it all are kind of like going to be branched off and no longer be the main focus. And it's now going to be these new heroes that are going to be the main focus. So, you know, hopefully Dark Phoenix does address anything like that. Uh, the other thing I'm kind of looking forward to is seeing, you know, how they're going to portray a Dark Phoenix because it is an iconic character, you know, of course, you know, Jean Grey herself is a character that a lot of people know of and as, you know, Dark Phoenix, it's going to be like this weird, like, it's going to be this weird duality to where, like, you know, you want to save her but at the same time, like, oh, this bitch needs to die and it addresses this in the third X-Men movie, I believe, whenever she, you know, becomes the phoenix again like kills everyone then of course you know wolverine has to like kill her to save everyone so it's kind of weird because you know the timeline's all fucked up now because of these precursor x-men mo movies you know days of future past apocalypse um first class they've all screwed with the timeline to where we don't even know like what the future is going to hold so you know it's really hard to determine like where they're going to go with the story arc and that's the other thing, too, you know, that's kind of like leaving a bad taste in my mouth is, you know, we don't know where this story is going because everything's just been so fucked up. Like, you know, how the characters have met is different, how, you know, people's lives are going to be in the future is completely different. So it's like, you know, we don't know as an audience what to expect with this upcoming movie. So I, I just don't personally like that. I like to kind of like... Be in the know-how of, you know, where it's going to end up. Because if it's like, oh, you know, Gene, for whatever reason, dies in this movie. Well, then that just c completely erases all the movies that we grew up with. So I hope they don't go that route. I think the route they're going to go is, you know, Professor X is going to, like, contain the Phoenix. And then, you know, she just lives normally. And then, of course, in X-Men 3, it comes back out. And then we're back on the same path. But... You know, things have just changed. But anyway, I'm ranting now. I 
completely lost my train of thought. Um, you know, I, I'm going to kind of go into this theater with an open mind, you know. I'm going to, of course, review it probably on my channel, if not on this podcast. Or if not, I just won't do it at all, depending on, you know, scheduling and everything like that. But, um, Captions will be making videos again on this channel. He's just been busy. I believe he's in San Diego right now for C school. So hopefully when he's back and running, he will be regular on this and y'all won't have to see me anymore. Not making sense. But a couple of things before I get off. Um, of course, you know, subscribe and everything like that. Um, the house hunting thing has been going good. Um, I should be closing by the 19th of June. So wish me luck. If I do get the house, I will for sure on my main channel be giving a house tour, letting you all see what it looks like. And then, of course, in the following months or the following year, I'll be showing like updates of like, you know, what we've done, what renovations we've made, everything like that. But, you know, that's it for this podcast. Please, if you like this, please leave a like down below, subscribe. Um, sorry about the lighting. Of course, I'm still on my parents' house, but I did kind of give them an upgrade because. Hey Google, turn off all the lights. Okay, turn ah! off the lights. Sorry, I thought that was cool. Hey Google, turn on the lights. For that, you'll need to unlock oh. your phone. Okay, well, you know, the smart device doesn't work that well. Anyway, see you in the next one. Bye!